How's it going everyone? Today we're taking a look at the Nokia 5710, the Express Music version. And as you see, it has some hidden features out here that I'm really excited to showcase to you. Uh, this device is intended for the international market. So if you are hoping to use this device in the United States, I have bad news for you. It does not work very well. Actually, it only works on 2G and I've only been able to make it work in one location about two times in the past week and a half. So I would not recommend this device for United States uh, viewers. So, but for those of you who are international or if you're traveling internationally, this may be a very intriguing device. Now it does have this nifty feature, of course, the Bluetooth headphones, but it does not have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, which is a little bit of a bummer. The device is decently large is not very small to be honest um, but of course you have the extra added value of the headphones in there so that may be the reason why you get this device it does have some actual good features and we'll talk about those for size comparison here is a light phone 2 and as you see is definitely larger than the light phone 2 about uh, twice the size and here is a nokia 2254g uh, which is a uh, kind of like a very similar device here in the United States from Nokia and it is also larger but you know with larger devices come larger batteries and also better compatibility uh, better keys things of that nature the, the keys are actually very nice now that we're talking about the hardware it does have a bunch of them so it does not only have your regular keys for T9 which also has T9 and predictive text but also it has a volume key here plus and minus and you also have the skip and pause keys right here for uh, your music, which you can sideload via a micro SD card. Now, the call quality with the only, you know, time that I was able to make it work, it's pretty good. Actually, uh, you can also have it go to the earbuds. When you have the earbuds right here, you take them off, they connect automatically. Once you have paired them, it does have Bluetooth 5. So it's actually very useful and it does not consume a lot of battery. The battery life is actually very good too. And I'll talk to, uh, maybe about that in just a second, but call history right there. You have missed, dial, receive, and reject it. I have cleared it uh, to its original intents. Then you have contacts, about 2000 contacts that you can group. Uh, you can put them on speed dials, things of that nature. You have your gallery because this does have a camera, but I would not trust this camera uh, with very important material it does get the job done but it's not something that you're going to be saying oh wow this is uh, an amazing picture it's just something you know maybe to take in an emergency or something like that you can send text messages um and i have a draft right there but uh, you can send text messages and it does have t9 you can send pictures as well you can attach them uh, so right here for example you can go to options insert uh, add attachments, add a picture, add a contact card, things of that nature. It does have predicted text in English, Portuguese, Espanol, and Italiano. That's it. Uh, although the device does come with French, I believe. Um, so right here, for example, you will have uh, predictive text. If you enable it right here, you have, um, let me see, maybe I need to predictive text off. Oh, sorry. I need to put it on. So right there. Uh, I'm cycling through the different inputs and you can put hi, my, um, well, I went back. My name is Jose. And as you see right there, it says Lord. But if I change it to a couple times with the downward key, it says Jose. And if I want to add a specific word, let's say ha, I can press uh, up on the triple click so if you do triple click i believe uh it does have the ability to add words to dictionary so you have a, a couple of extra words in there um if you press the up key right there uh, then you have facebook here is not your actual facebook it's actually uh, just a browser kind of extension uh, and it does not open it because I don't have my SIM card in here. I've been testing another device, but I can show you on the Nokia 2254G. How does that look? It looks exactly the same as with all of the other devices that use the same operating system. It's a very basic Opera mini device. And of course you can load it. Um, maybe I don't have internet connection right now on my device. I probably had to do a reboot on this one, but 
essentially what you have on this specific device you have an opera mini browser and you will be able to navigate through it uh, pretty easily it's not you know rocket science not anything that you're going to be using for the long term uh, but you have the ability there to use that you do have snake and again facebook just opens up the browser so it's not collecting data or anything you cannot remove it sadly but you can move it uh, somewhere else so for example all the way to the bottom if you don't want to see it on your most used apps and you have a couple of other things like games and things like that that are cluttering the experience now let's talk a little bit more useful things of course the earbuds have their own thing right here and when you take them out you will see that they will be connected and it also will tell you uh, right there connected and it will tell you the battery life that they're using if you happen to lose them there is an indicator right here at the top um, that lets you know or that blinks i don't think you will be able to appreciate it very well in here but there is a red light that comes up here so you can find your earbuds if you lose them probably only available in a dark environment and not in a bright environment so now that they have disconnected we can go back you can listen to the radio via um wirelessly so you don't need to install anything or have the headphones connected you can just listen to the radio if you just click that and it will scan your area you have alarm clock calculator voice recorder extras like countdown timer stopwatch a torch uh you can turn on right here in the back and also a converter right there you do have a calendar with a couple of entries right there you're not going to be have to be able to have unlimited entries but about i believe 30 to 60 entries which is a little bit on the lo slow lower side but you know something is something is better than nothing for sure uh that is a little bit of my experience and battery life on this device has been excellent so this one has a battery life of about four to five days uh on single sim with bluetooth enabled and using it for you know different things um like for example you can use it for the radio or you can use it for um you know just texting or doing a couple of extra things here and there um of course my battery life is extended because i don't have signal all the time but I, again i've been testing with different sim cards and again i would say three days at the very minimum for this device i think it's a good device for the international market if you're looking for a very simple calls text nothing else uh maybe a browse uh brow using the browser here and there or every so often or browse something if you need directions or something like that um just looking it up but besides that it's not going to be the most amazing device uh if you're looking for an alternative but it does bring the added value at about um 70 or 80 dollars, depending on your market it does bring the earbuds so that you know easily pays off for the device and of course you have a phone that is able to be used uh, sadly it has micro usb still um it does not have usb c and it does not have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack so uh, if you're going to get this device just get it for the earbuds essentially and for the cool factor maybe fidgeting with it back and forth and for the basic functions but nothing else uh, thanks for watching this review there will be other reviews on the other nokia devices as well available in my channel and if you have any questions about this device or any of the other devices make sure to put them in the comments below i'll be interacting with you guys see you in the next one